Oh my freaking god, guys. I just got a Birkin Hermes haul. We're going to be doing an unboxing for you guys in a moment. But first, I want to introduce Steve Jan right here with us, an Hermes Birkin expert. What's Hi, going on? Scoot on that. in, scoot on Come in. Closer. This is Come huge, closer. guys. Oh my god. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to be talking about the Hermes Birkin. Steve has his, and let me show you how he stores his, okay? <laughs> So we have this big box, like he doesn't really take it out much. Oh my god, I hope you, I hope you, oh! He keeps it in this, where did you, you get these from? To, it's by uh, lux, Luxury Display. Dot com? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And I sent this to me, so. Oh, okay, so it even has like these little like rubber things up here at the top, so it protects it. Yeah, it so bag. we're gonna take out the Birkin, uh, twerking for the Birkin, Oops. you guys. This video has been a process to make, so please leave a like, leave a comment. Oh my god. Oh, hold on, I don't want to touch it. I want to put my gloves on. <laughs> so let's talk about this Birkin. This Birkin has a story behind it, huge story. Can I talk about a story? We, yeah, yes. How go much ahead. time do I have? No, go ahead. Okay. So um, everyone knows that Birkin, I mean, Hermes Birkin is really an item that's really hard to get. Even mm -hmm. today, you walk into Hermes and say, Here's 20,000, I want a Birkin. They will politely look at you and say, We can put you on the waiting list. Yeah, That's because put you on the waiting list. Two. Yes. So, the only way to get Birkin right away or Cali cust custom, constant, constant is in Paris. So, we went to Paris three years ago and we tried to make an appointment. We were unable to get an appointment. Yeah. But we just went to the store, my partner. Told the sales lady that we're there for celebrating our 20 years anniversary. We were there just for the Hermes. Yeah, and I think that's how you got it is because you kind of sold them a story. Story. On yes. like, hey, I'm here for our anniversary. Oh, let me show you a Birkin. Did he? Did he ask for a Birkin? Did he ask to see? He it? said that he told her that oh, my partner will love. We we're here for the Birkin. Yeah. And we we're gonna stay here for 10 days, try to make reservations. Yeah. And we would love to see if anything available today. And I cannot Boom. believe all my friends freaked out. Say, what? You okay, walk out? But you didn't know. You didn't, you didn't know you were gonna get a Birkin. You had no. you had the mind of like maybe. Yeah. But when you were in Paris, and they said yes, we have the Birkin. Did no. you automatically? Like the lady walk out with the orange box. Oh, and this? Then, oh, okay. Yeah, and then what she did is that she um, motioned us go upstairs. Yes. Yeah, they don't want to open this in the store in front of everyone. everybody. Everybody, yeah, so they took the you to the private room. room. Mm -hmm. And I, the first thing I said was so stupid. I said, uh, can I take this home today? <laughs> That's oh the first, my God. I was freaking out. But did you think like, do I have oh. enough money? Is it going to go through? Like, oh, do, no, I, do, I need to, do I need to call the bank nope. and say we, I'm we going to prepare this? for that? Okay. We stay at the W Cross Van Opera House, yeah. only two miles from Hermes. We were there for a mission for 10 days. But we got it in three hours after we land in Paris. <laughs> so like, what do we do now? <laughs> so, this yeah. is, so this video, we, we made this video before. Like yeah. we talked about this a couple years ago. We were staying at, it was like a hotel in, in Hollywood. I forgot the name of that hotel. It was really uh, nice. It was like a French inspired hotel. Yeah. But I, if I can find that video, put the link down below along with Steve's video. But we're going to be talking about his Birkin and an inspired Birkin. Inspired Birkin. Yeah. I like the but, way it is inspired. But so. before we do that and how I can tell the difference, this video is sponsored the house by Ibu Beauty. So thank you, Ibu Beauty, for sponsoring this video. Uh, this The moisturizer is so good. And I just want to say, guys, if you use code RICHLUX, you can save 30% off yes. on your checkout. And yeah, do you want to say anything about Ibu Beauty? No, I just want to say thank you so much for all of you who oh, order so Ibu Beauty. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah. If you order Evil Beauty, you try, you like it, please write a review for us. Oh, yeah. So much this is us. the CEO of Evil Beauty right here, guys. So if you use code RICHLUX, you'll save 30% off and you'll get an autographed bottle as well, too. So that's really cool, too. So thank you for that and the time and just for allowing me to just be around your Birkin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and a so, little other stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I went to uh, a little market out here and I saw this hanging in... The window and I was like is that a Birkin bag and then um, we were looking at it and this is Togo leather uh -huh. with palladium hardware uh -huh. and this is Togo leather I wouldn't say Togo leather 
Togo leather with rose gold hardware and I was looking at it and okay so this is let's just be real okay so first of all if you lift yours up right here Steve this flap if you guys see on Steve's Birkin bag it says right here Hermes Paris right and so I'm, I'm gonna zoom in a little closer I'm, I don't want to like here we go okay so you see that right there it says Hermes Paris like right in there and it's like stamped on there with like silver ink it says Hermes Paris made in France this one here it doesn't say that if I lift it there is nothing there it would be right here see that Steve mm -hmm. it would be right here Every, Which, it's good. That means it's inspired. It's an it's inspired not, it's not bag. It's not, a, it's not a replica. It's yeah. not a fake. It's an inspired bag. Yeah. Because if it said Hermes Paris anywhere on the bag. Mm, that's a, yeah. Okay, then that's a, a fake. But in this case, this is just something that looks like it, but that's not it. Because it's not saying that it is. But inside, can we see the inside of your bag? And we're going to compare this one. So this bag, for it being an inspired Hermes Birkin, um... This was five hundred and forty dollars without LA tax. You so, can get a Marc Jacobs coach. You can get Marc Jacobs coach, Michael Kors, yeah. maybe like um, that Prada, that Prada bag and stuff like that. So it wasn't cheap. Mm -hmm. And so let me see. So yours has just a okay. So Steve's Birkin bag. So there's a zipper back here. He has a zipper here. And there's a component right here big space and then something right here to put like like a notebook or agenda right in there okay and then on the inspired piece here let's see let's see <gasps> oh because when i showed steve he was he, he really didn't care oh and then like the okay so the zipper, zipper here. let me see yeah zipper what happened oh Okay, I'm um, he's, he's shook. Big space zipper and a pouch for an agenda as well. So I would say, like literally, this bag, if you didn't know to lift the flap right here to see, you you wouldn't know. And I went to Vaughn's grocery store and oh, some lady with this bag and I had it on my grocery bag and she goes, Oh, I like your Birkin. She didn't know. You know, I totally reached she, out. She didn't had no idea. Most of the people don't even know what's Hermes. Yeah. Forget about Birkin. So yeah, don't, yeah. It's really hard for people to recognize that. So if if you have the bag, can can your bag do this one just like mine? Yeah. If if you do this, you wouldn't really be able to tell, right? It's so hard to tell. It's really hard. They're almost identical. Now the black is really rare to find. This color black Nior is really hard to find in the Hermes Birkin world. So. If it's almost too good to be true to see someone walking with a black Hermes Birkin inspired, it's probably not real. But most people wouldn't know. If it's like this at the airport walking through, no one and no one's gonna be like, oh, can you lift your flap? <gasps> oh, you don't have the you don't have uh uh you don't have the little stamp. No one's gonna do that. So no. you, you probably wouldn't even know. And like know. Steve said, most people don't even know what a Birkin is. Must you know, so if this bag was real. This bag, I looked at online, retail for twenty thousand dollars. That's and if you can get it. <laughs> if you can, if get it. you can get it, and it's a little pricier with the rose gold. Now, Steve's bag is a little bigger. Yours is a 35, 35, 35, 35 and this is a thirty. 30. So, so this is, if this was a real Birkin, it would be a Birkin bag with Togo leather with rose gold heart, heart rose gold. I have to do it again. I love doing that. It's a Birkin bag with Togo leather, with rose gold hardware. <laughs> hardware, 30, 30. Yeah. Yours is a Birkin bag, Togo leather, with palladium hardware, 35. Yes. Ugh, can you imagine, like, when you went to Hermes, like, did you say that, like, do you like, have, do you have a Birkin bag with Togo leather, palladium no, hardware? No, you, <laughs> you usually tell me, to, uh, what was your wish list? What would you like? I heard rumors that they showed you two bags. It depends to, to who choose you from. Are. Uh, no, you when you went to Paris. No, they only gave me one option, and it was exactly the one I want. I was shook when that happened. That's exactly the one you wanted. Yeah, because most of the time it's like uh, it's not what I want, but I'll go ahead and take it. Because you, you know. really don't have an option. If you miss the opportunity, you're not going to get it. And by Maybe their policy, mean. each passport can only get two Hermes back a year. So Spring wouldn't it be crazy if your partner would have went in there and was like, well, that's for his anniversary and he's going to buy mine. 
So, do you have a second one? We did not try it. We, oh. did, not, we did not prepare that because it is not cheap. It's not cheap. It, it's, it's not something that everyone can afford. Do you so. want to disclose price? I don't remember. It's about... Okay, oh. so, well then, if you don't remember, what would it be worth today? Today is over 13. 13 and 14. The resale value is about 10, 20, 20, 15 to 20% a year increase for our mess. Yeah. So it's a guarantee. Yeah. So. Wow. And you know what fits perfectly in there? The Ebu Beauty. Beauty. Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> I really want to get that one in Paris next time when I go. Well, yeah. Which, would you be like, what? <laughs> well, yeah. No, that would be. If you went and scored another Birkin, like oh my god, oh my god it's almost like to. if I if I went to Paris and I went to Hermes and they said that they had a Birkin, I literally would be like, oh my god, There's I wasn't card. prepared. Yeah, like let me see what credit card I'm going to give you because, like Steve said, it's like you don't want to miss out on that chance. No, and I know it sounds stupid to call someone and say, hey, I need eight thousand, ten thousand dollars because I just got I just got offered a Birkin. Like they're gonna be like what? Like this is. This is crazy because the price increases and they are collectibles. Even to the point where even a, a replica inspired one is $500, yeah, if not more. I was kind of shook about that. It looks really good though. Even the texture is not, it's thinner. It's, than so, the, it's so soft. But it's not bad, not bad. So if you were as a Birkin owner yourself, oh, did you just have feet at the bottom yes. of your skin? If, but if, mine doesn't have a protector though. Well, yeah, this is all plastic. Actually, like I this would, one's. I would love to have that. You don't oh, have that. you don't have this? <laughs> oh, okay. So like, the inspired Birkin had. Let me show you. The in, yeah, the inspired Birkin has these gold you feet, right? Hold on, let me show them. They don't know. It has these gold feet, right? And then it, there's a protector, a little condom yeah. for the gold it's feet. Does your drop. feet? Does your feet? You okay, yeah, I want that. No! You don't need it! This, people are going to think it's even more real. I have protectors for it. Oh my god. That's gosh. so cute. That's fine. That's so cute. Clink, 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 clink. But, okay, hold on. Let me just touch it because I, I, I'm shook by how good they look. Okay. Yeah, yours is like a little bit thicker. A thicker material. I mean. Yeah, and this is softer. It's like more thicker, it's just softer. Okay. And it has even like the way that this um, lay on the side, you can see that. Pretty much the same. Wow. So if you saw somebody at the airport that you didn't know, and they had it just like this without showing the the stamp because the stamp's inside, would you think that was that this was a Birkin? Honestly, probably. If you saw someone you didn't know walking to the airport, probably through the mall. Probably. <laughs> Whoa. Looks pretty good. It just, it, it's an iconic bag. It's an iconic bag to yeah. the point that, wow. I think we want to make sure that people know this is not a fake bag because they did not put Hermes on Yeah, yeah, yeah. This so is not a fake bag because like, like Steve said, it doesn't say Hermes yeah. Birkin or Hermes made in Paris or France or anything yeah. on it. It doesn't say anything at all. It just looks like it, basically. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of shook by that. Okay, so what is your advice for people who want to get a Birkin and they're like kind of <laughs> like, do you have any advice for people out there? Uh, I think that it's very important that um, if you can make, if you can go to Paris, that's the easier way to score a Birkin. With, you have to make a reservation? You do. Yeah. Or you can even just go in there in the morning because even okay, in the US. Okay, hold on. Well, I don't want to cut you off. Yeah, people but, come you cut but, me off. Yeah, but if I don't say it, I will forget it. So here's the thing. There's rumors online that say you have to buy a lot of Hermes jewelry and fashion and shoes to even get offered a Birkin. Yes. Do you think that that rule applied to you in the situation when you got your Birkin? Did not apply to me. Boom! You however, see? Yeah, however, what, what, what they usually say is it's not required for you to purchase equal amount of dollar yeah. in accessory rich wear. They really want to offer Birkin for the true lover of Hermes. Yeah. If you're a true lover of Hermes, then you want to wear doing uh, wear their ready to wear and jewelry accessory. Yeah. Um, if you want to buy score a Birkin outside of Paris, like in the US or in another country, the easy way to do is to buy ready to wear. Okay, buy so their clothing. Yeah, so what Steve, just to reiterate what he said, is that a good way to get into the hands of a Birkin faster is to buy ready to wear, which is clothing, fashion, the cashmere, sweaters. Would you say like the, the ties even? Just clothes. Basically. Clothing is a piece of 
clothing, shoes, jewelry. If you get jewelry or watch, you definitely have a better chance to get um, mm -hmm. offer. And the reason Wait. why, mm -hmm. can I say real quick? Mm -hmm. There, from what I understand, associate when they sell Birkins or Constance or Kelly, they don't get any commissions. Oh. So that is really a reward for their loyal clients. Mm. At least that's what I learned from the US and yeah. Asia. So every country is a little bit different. So, okay, so I own a few Hermes bracelets. Mm -hmm. The H has an H on it. Those are like 680, that's a fashion accessory. Don't so that, but you said that's not considered jewelry. That's uh, what I mean. Is a real like a like a gold jewelry. That's mm. a fashion accessory. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. So not that. Not that. Um, blankets and pillows. I ha I They're own those. Very low. Basically, you want to buy rent with a couple Ready thousand wear, dollars. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I own a few plates and saucers by Hermes because they also make stuff for the home too. Yes. yes. But I just I feel like you really got blessed by the Birkin gods when you were for in the Paris. first time we literally booked 10 day in Paris we're gonna, we had a plan to make reservation every day and then we just got it that first day we arrived it's wow. unbelievable and the service was amazing we went back to see the lady a couple more times and <gasps> was she annoyed by you like oh, no I just back a more stuff okay you know? it, it's a really beautiful experience yeah and, um, yeah. I'm surprised that <laughs> you went back again the next day to buy yeah. more stuff. I want to build a relationship just in case. <laughs> just in case I want to buy more stuff. But oh it is God. a very, very expensive purchase stuff. So yeah. um, Steve is very experienced, very well-rounded. And it's hard to see him like shook or surprised. And I think that was a genuine moment when you it were really like... was. Uh, <laughs> when I bought my Tom home, it was like $500,000. I would just house. find it. That's You're it. Like, ah, done. But Barker was like, oh, yeah. so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were more excited about the Birkin yeah. bag. So now, do you plan to get another Birkin? Uh, uh, my dream, I believe that everyone has to have a dream so they can follow and be successful. I want to all, I want to be just a tourist at Roma and all those big celebrities. Yeah. I want to have like a Jeffree Birkin, Star, Jeffrey have a whole Star, bunch of whole Birkins. Bunch of Birkins. I mm -hmm. want that. I just, I just think they are so beautiful and they are way better than stock. It's guaranteed oh. value go up 10 It's 20%. cute and you, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of like negativity around people who buy Birkins and stuff like that. Like. The fact that you have to do all these jumping through hoops to get one, whereas your story, which is very rare, that you just walked in, but it wasn't Steve, it was his partner yeah. that walked in there and was like, hey, I would like to get a Birkin bag for my partner, it's our anniversary. We flew he, here for this purpose. He made it, they made it a special moment, and I think that's what really, that's what really threw the cell associate like, okay, wow, like, obviously, you can, because it was in Paris, right? Yes. And his partner, he doesn't have an accent like he's French or anything like that. So I think it really made it more believable. Like, okay, this isn't like a fake person in Paris trying to get a Birkin to resell because they try to stop people to buy and resell too. Oh yeah, there's yeah. definitely no, no. If this is a huge you, thing, yeah. They block you. And so I just kind of feel like now that you have a Birkin, you're, I feel like a lot of people who have Birkins, they buy them used or pre-loved, you know, like, Websites like Fashion File and, and but, but stuff like that. But I know like you're paying literally double the price. Yeah. You pay double the price. And the way Steve got it was like a dream come true in Paris. In Paris. At the Hermes the flagship store. store. <laughs> okay, like yes. that was like what? Like not many people will ever have that experience. Yes. Okay, like, he yes. talks about it till this day. <laughs> it's amazing. And, and so when you go back to get another Birkin at the flagship store in Paris, I think you should recreate that moment where your partner goes in there and says, we're celebrating our XX anniversary yes. and this, <laughs> it works again. It works again. Yeah, we've it been together for 23 again. years now. It works now. again. So that was 20 years ago. I mean, that wow. Was, yeah. Now everyone out there, every beauty blogger, every like fashion blogger is going to use that. <laughs> You're gonna, is going to hire a friend. Like just say we've been together forever yes. and stuff like that. So when you got the Birkin, um, did they give you champagne mm -hmm. and they mac offer, macarons? No macaroon, they just no macaroons. offer you a drink. What would you like to drink? They yeah. take you upstairs for private room. 
and and you were I think you told me off camera he was almost scared to like video yeah I was so scared to do anything wrong because they could cut I you saw off. people video a lot but I'm like you know I don't want to screw up this chance the video can wait let me get my bag first he fixed his eyelash girl you were, you were like okay the video can wait yes and the the video that you did was really good like the lighting and everything was really good Thank so you. Okay, for those, if you're still watching this video, comment down below, I love your Birkin. If you're still watching the, yeah. I lo uh, yeah, if you're still watching this video, comment, I love your Birkin. With that being said, when you go back to Paris, because you got your dream bag, I mean, for you to get the bag you wanted, the color, the size, at the Hermes boutique in, in Paris, it's really, really rare. I mean, check, 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 check. Now, like, what's next? on your Hermes Birkin list that you want. I want it a little smaller, 30, because this is actually really heavy. The 35, it's really this heavy. is 30. Yeah, I want a little smaller size. Yeah. And, but in reality, if they're going to offer me another 35, I'm just going to take it. <laughs> I'm not going to be arguing with them. Can, can you me? imagine they bring you the same one and you're like, okay, if they do that, I will not buy it. Oh, no, I'm going to go well, in there with call this me, one. Call me and I I'll cash app you. <laughs> Nine thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna do installment. No, I'm not having. I have it. I have it. Oh my god. But uh, yeah. But okay. So if they offer you the same one, you cannot say no. No, you can't say no. Absolutely. But no, you can't say no. Yes, you can. You, you just. This, this, okay, I'll take it. Cause okay, do you think if you say no, they'll bring you out another one? Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. Like, there, there, there's, there's a way to this, say. It. There's a way to say. Yeah. Like, they really want to offer their. Uh, Bergen, Constance, and Kelly to people who truly appreciate the brand. Yeah. So if you don't like the color, I would say don't get it. Because this is not $800. This is like $8,000, $9,000 yeah. for oh, yeah. a bag. If you don't like it, don't get it. And if you try to resell that, you will get busted. Yeah. You will get that, busted. That's another thing. Yeah, is that do if, if they see that you're buying too many, because you're only allowed how many Bergens? Two a, a year. A year. And most so. people can't even get two a year. Yeah. You know, that's like even pushing it. Most people can only get one in a lifetime. Yeah. And to have whoa, and I think I think a lot of people who have Birkins, they don't get them from Hermes flagship boutique. No, they just buy a re like, resellish. So I don't. So you let me know this. So those beauty bloggers that we see who has a whole room full of Birkins, they did not get it from the actual store. There are you. You think that they're buying them from resellers? Reseller mostly, yeah. And they're adding to their collection. If I have like half million dollars sitting here for free, I would do the exact same thing. Because they're Third charging you wall. more. You double. You double, double the price. Sometimes triple the price. Yeah, because you're getting it, that instant gratification like right there and then, and yeah. you get you get the like half the Like the TikTok magic, boom, everything. Oh back. yeah, <laughs> boom, working back. Okay, so here, boom. boom, like that. It's kind of like that in a way. All right, so if you do go back to Paris, what is the color you have in mind? Oh, for those of you who want to know, if you speak Hermes, this is Nior. And that's taupe or taupe, uh, the color? A, a, a taupe. A taupe uh -huh. is the color of Steve's bag. So what color did you have in mind when you go back? <sighs> I'm really not particular in color. I'll take any colors. Yeah. But you have to give them a colors. And you, the, the trick is you got to tell Pink. them the, the latest color. They have different color for different seasons. Oh, yeah. So if you tell them, it would be easy to change. Easy to change. Probably a blue color. Definitely no. Yeah, pain he's for in. Me. He's into like navies, Board dark. House. Yeah, like I call them very neutral colors, like navy blues, dark blue, stuff like that. He likes yeah. that stuff like that. So or the or black grace, one. Or the black. black is so hard to get. It's like I don't even want to bother to ask. Yeah, even though this one is an inspired bag, I almost feel unsafe walking around with it because it looks so good. Like I, I like I'm not joking, guys. Like I was like, oh my god, yeah. like it's a fun. You know me, like I'm very fun, whimsical, and stuff like that. And so, like, it's very, like, I'm so sick. I'm going to throw up in my Birkin. Like, you know, it's like that whole, it's type of, like, flex culture, the Birkin bag and that whole thing. is It got into it. And a lot of men and rappers are buying Birkin bags yes, and wearing it's them. it's pretty masculine. And having them. And um, if you guys watched my music video, I think it was uh, Mango Nada, Steve's original Birkin was in the music video. Oh yeah, he made it, the Birkin, it was, it she made, made in the video. It made a cameo me. in the music video. And I remember when I watched it back, they pulled out Ibu from it. And I was like, oh my God, we got a Birkin bag in the music video, a real one. I mean, the music, I'm gonna be honest with you, 
That Birkin bag that made an appearance in my music video cost more than the whole entire music video. I told your models, please be careful, don't drop that yeah. on the floor. <laughs> Burn the Birkin. No, think about that whole fire, entire music video. Drinks everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we had fire pyro pyrotechnics in that music video, so it was like a crazy experience. So, okay, do you think that people who have Birkins, or people who want Birkins mm -hmm. rather, that they should just really wait for the one they want or get what they can get? You usually have a backup list. You you, you kind of want give them a couple of different sizes, different colors. Yeah. And I mean, if you're ready to buy it, I'll just get it. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about protection. How do you protect your Birkin, if ever? Uh, and do you travel with I it? I do. A lot, you know, at the beginning, people thought I just bought, don't use. It was not true. You saw my video, Birkin was with me in Paris, yeah. Tokyo, Singapore, Thailand, international. It's been around the world with you. Uh, you want to hear the really sad story? Well, <laughs> if I'm not in the business... Can I see it again? Like, yeah. People are here for the Birkin. They're twerking for the Birkin. If I'm not in the first class or business class, mm -hmm. I usually put my bag in the dust bag, in the luggage, and yeah. put on, carry on. I don't carry that in the trunk, uh, coach. So, I think a lot of people are going to want to know this, and you've talked about this a lot, but talk about it again here for those people who didn't watch. How do you get treated when you carry this? You know, it's really sad to say, in the, the world of luxury, like when you walk into Chanel or the yeah. designer store, if you carry the Birkin, they treat you like, welcome to Chanel, would you like some champagne today? Oh! Like immediately. Even if I don't even dress down. It shouldn't be like that where honestly, they should not treat you based on what you're carrying. Yes. Um, but like people, Treat you nicer if you have a Birkin. And those people can tell if you have a fake one or real. Oh, they can. Yeah, they can. Yes. So, so don't, don't try that. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Y'all watch watch a video. I don't go with you. Going to Hermes with my fake Birkin. Going to Chanel with my fake Birkin and see how I'm treated. I don't think, I think I'll be treated. I think people would treat me like a little better because they're not going to be like, well, let me see the flap. Let me see. Hold on. You know, they're not going to yeah. look for that. I think so, though. What do you, honestly, because you're telling me that if you didn't know me, you would think this was real. But then you're telling but me I that. But I am not an expert. Those people are working in the world of luxury. They can tell. Like Chanel, they can tell right away. They look at the color of the hardware. You know, th I mean, I, I, I cannot tell, so. I cannot tell. I didn't well, know. We're if, not the expert. If so. you had this bag and told me it was a Birkin, I would, I would literally believe this was a Birkin bag. I literally would. I, I couldn't I couldn't tell the difference like it's a really good inspired bag yeah and that's the sad part like Steve had said is that a lot of times when Steve carries this bag people don't even know what it is and now yeah. I'm like what because I you know if you're watching this video we know what a Birkin bag is we know the shape of it so we know and the value and the history and the heritage and the drama that it yeah. has but a lot of people don't know what a Birkin bag is, and so I kind of feel like it sucks when you walk around and they're like, what the hell is that ugly bag? You know? <laughs> Thank so, you for your feedback. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. That's my comment for all the hate ones. Okay, so just to reiterate, if you went back to Paris, you really don't have like a specific bag in mind. Just maybe a size 30 in a neutral color. Actually, I do. I want a mini. I want a mini uh, Cali. It's not called Micro? I don't know the name, just Mini with a strap. You want a Kelly bag? Yeah, Kelly or Mini Birkin or Mini Cons, anything small. You're into minis. Yes. He's likes, when Louis Vuitton did that mini collection, the micro stuff, he, I mean, and the mini bag, do they have mini Birkins? Yet? Oh. Sometimes the mini bags cost more than like the actual bags. It's harder to, um, to, to make, so yeah. Yeah, it's a lot more time. So speaking of time, when people buy a Birkin, how much time goes into the atelier or the artisan? How much I, time goes into... I don't into, know, but you know, I, I do know the one, uh, one, um, the artisan... Salary? Person, they, they, one person makes one bag. Okay, so one person makes one Birkin and they really take their time making They take it. I think I it's like 40 long. to 80 hours, I, I think. Uh, we need to Google that. But yeah, so and that's what makes it so special and I think Hermes makes it so that not everyone can have one and they keep it so exclusive and that's yeah. why they make the price very high 
um, kind of like what Chanel's trying to do. That like, I don't get. It's yeah. Like, for that price, I might as well get broken. Because then you have that. Because a lot of people are, are going to ask us in the comments. I already know y'all. I love y'all so much. Like, I want to get a Chanel or I can only get a Birkin or a Chanel. And they both cost the same. Which Birkin. one should I get? Birkin. If Birkin. you want our honest opinion, get a Birkin back. It'll, I feel like it's just more heritage, more timeless. but It's more classic. And less people going to have it. Chanel is beautiful, but... Even though they cost their classic flop cost about what eight nine thousand dollars. Yeah, like a jumbo, like a jumbo yeah. Chanel bag. And then a lot of people are gonna have that. So at least Birkin have less chance. It's more rare to Yeah, have the same I think bag. it's more rare so, too. Yeah. So if you're if you're into indecisive about getting a Chanel bag or a Birkin, I would say lean toward more the Hermes Birkin if you can even get well, one. Well, yeah, if you can get if this. you can get one right. because I feel. I feel like I can go to Chanel and ask for a classic flap, double flap, jumbo with gold hardware and they might have it. They may have it, yes. I feel like I'll have a better chance of getting a Chanel bag than a Birkin bag and part of the illusion of luxury is having, that. I, the last time I checked, the definition of luxury is something that the poor cannot afford. That's so a, what? Yeah. That's, what? When, I, when I checked the definition of luxury, which is a couple years ago, it said something in which the poor cannot afford. Let me ask Siri, hold on. Hey Siri, define luxury. Is it gonna work? Luxury means the state of great comfort and extravagant living. Okay. Do you want to hear the remaining okay. one? Yes. She's thinking. As an adjective, it means luxurious or of the nature of a luxury. Oh, girl. So basically, it's the state of great comfort and extravagant living. Yeah. Hmm. Well, my my definition of comfort is different from yours. And my definition of extravagant living is different from yours. Yes. So it's almost like luxury is is a, a social construct that people build. But last time I take it, it said something with a poor cannot afford. Can I it's, share it's our Ibu philosophy? Oh yeah, go ahead. So at Ibu Beauty, um, we are affordable luxury skincare. And we define luxury should not be defined by dollar amounts. Should buy experience yes. and the results, um, efficacy of the products. Yeah. So that's called affordable luxury. And if you use code Rich Lux, you can save 30% off at eRudy.com. Wait, you get an autograph bottle for me. Only the Tintin moisturizer, the only few left, actually, we're almost sold. Really? Oh, yes. Okay, so, uh, this has been a very long video. Oh my god, how long is yeah, this video? Yeah, this at 30 some minutes into the video. Whoa. This, because I really wanted this video to make an impact for those people who really love Hermes. Mm -hmm. And you have a story that a lot of people who have Hermes bags can't even say that they have the same story as yeah. you. Um, I think that Steve has plans to go back to Paris. Yes. And he's, uh, you know, sne Steve's <laughs> Steve's Sneaky Snake. Sneaky Snake Steve. He's gonna go back and try his luck <coughs> and get one. So, oh, real quick, if you really want to buy Hermes, mm -hmm. but you can draw seven, eight thousand dollars, you can buy the coin purse coin purse uh -huh. it's about four hundred dollars it's easier to get you the can get a, you can get a piece of Hermes without spending that much money start okay. with a small and then you build your way out okay that's one way to do it too yeah if you believe in that construct of I have to buy a lot of Hermes to be offered in Hermes in Hermes bag which I've been I heard that for a long time True. but in this case I'm just lucky he I'm just Steve. got lucky yeah so again Steve is gonna go back to Paris he says this year, but who knows with the way the world is going. With that being said, if you want to follow Steve, put his YouTube down below. So oh, when he goes, you. so when he goes to Paris, you will know, and we will all stalk his Instagram story and see if he gets I'm it. I'm gonna do live with you. If you that go live. Like, Rich, get up! <laughs> oh yeah. So um, there's a specific hotel that you should stay at. Uh, what's our slogan? Okay, it's one thing to go, go to, to Paris. Paris. It's another, another thing, thing to, to go at, at the Shangri-La Hotel. <laughs> it, I don't even know if that's the name. I think that's it's Shangri-La Shang or Shangri-La Shang Hotel in Paris. It's like a beautiful, 10, beautiful room. 10,000 a night. 10,000 a night. See, here's what I'm going to do. Because you know, I'm coupon queen, baller on a budget. I literally would go in with influencers and then take pic for one night we all split the room and we all take pictures and we've been there the whole week in that room i think that's how a lot of like beauty bloggers do it too yes <laughs> we can see and they do it with their birkin bag so 
<laughs> not that one, not but this not one. That one. This, one. <laughs> this is the one you yeah. want to do it. So you know what I want to do with this one is I want to get spray paint and then spray paint you fake like this Birkin. Oh yeah, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> you fake like uh, my Birkin. Gucci had that collaboration. Yeah, God, and that's the thing. Before. This is another thing that really upsets me is that people say that the Birkin bag is fake when you actually have a real one. And I hate when people when you buy something oh, real really? and people still say it's fake. Yeah. Well, that's because they like, don't have the knowledge yeah. of the Hermes and Luxury. Yeah, well. but I honestly feel like in order for you to really tell if something's fake. You have to touch it and hold it. You have to touch it and hold and it. And most of the time, most people aren't gonna let you touch their stuff. It's no. kind of rude to like do that. Like before my Birkin, I never touched Birkin before. Wow. Like where are you gonna go to touch the Birkin? Let me ask you. <laughs> where? <laughs> where? Where are you gonna go to touch a Birkin? Oh, your <laughs> next me and Greek, we're gonna say, you can touch the Birkin. <laughs> touch the burger. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a meet and greet here and then we'll have another like two lights and a backdrop and a chair and a Birkin on top inside here and then we'll have a security guard and a police officer. You have to sign a waiver and then you have to put the gloves on to reach inside just to touch it and then there you go. And then there you go. Yeah, and then the police officer will have his gloves on. He'll go like this and you can pose next to it. And <laughs> Because it's, you're right. You're right. Where can you, the average person, go yeah. to see a Birkin? Like, because yeah. they don't have it. If you go to Hermes right now and you're like, let me let me see a Birkin. Like, they're, they're not going to show it to you. No, they're, they're not. They're not going to show it to you. It's display only. They don't even show you. Behind the glass. They're not going to let you touch it and yeah. hold it. And it's just, it's not like Louis Vuitton where you're like, can I see that bag up there? And yeah. they pull it down. And yeah. It's not like that at all. It's a total different experience. And I think that's just why it turns people off. The whole entire trying to get a Birkin, is, it turns them off. I mean... But I feel like once you have a Birkin, you really sh display your status in the society. Oh. I hate to say that. It is. Like, who can carry the Birkins and, yeah. you know... Um, it's, yeah, now people carry Birkins. And, yeah. you know, and knowing Steve... God, I'm going to get hater for this one. Go, <laughs> knowing Steve... Good, good, it drives engagement. But knowing Steve, like, when I see him out, and he has the Birkin. I'm like, oh, you know, it's a big, it's a big deal yes. if he brought the Birkin yeah. out. It's huge. Yes. He doesn't just bring it out for anybody. How many times you told me to bring the Birkin to Vegas? Oh, yeah. I turn it down. I'm like, hey, Steve, let's go to Vegas. Bring your Birkin. He's like, no, no. no. Yeah, no. no. I'm just like, wow. Yeah. But usually when he brings it out, if you ever see Steve out in public and he has the Birkin, it, there's something huge going on. Yes. Huge. Now, another Hermes bag that I feel gets no love is the Hermes toolbox. Mm, that yeah, is a really, that's too. a really good one. Let me check my eyelash hair. Okay. Anyways, guys, I can talk for another 40 minutes, but I'm, I'm going to let this video go. Check out Steve down below. Don't forget to check out ewoobeauty.com. Use code RICHLUX. Oh, and you're doing off. a giveaway. Oh, yeah. We had a giveaway, but I don't know when this is going to go up. Ah, yeah, I, I don't know because I, I pre-filmed. So no problem. You can always check my Instagram and see if it's still going on or not. And uh, we're giving away a whole bunch of makeup. So yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Any last words you want to say or anything? Last word. Thank you so much for allowing me to be on your video. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for allowing your Birkin to be on this video. Yes. So um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll let you guys go. Leave a like, guys. Leave a comment, and I'll see you guys. Oh, here it goes. Oh, we'll see you later. Bye. See you later. Bye.